In this video, we are going to look at how to import points into a Civil 3D drawing. Currently, I have not opened any drawing. First, I will open a new template and continue with our import of points. So to do that, I go to here, application menu. Then I go to new. I will select the default Civil 3D template metric version and click open now we have opened a new drawing with the metric version default template so now i am going to import points into this drawing before importing points into this drawing we will see how a point file so this is a point file so you can see it has five columns these five columns has five types of data the first column gives the point number. I would say it as P. Then it gives the nothing value. It is a uh, indication of the location of the point. Then next column gives you the easting value. Again, indication of a location of the point. Then you get the Z value or the Z value, indication of a elevation of the point Z. Then we have SHOE column denotes the description so we have point number nothing easting description elevation and finally description so we call this p n e z d we call this p n e z d type of file so the name is topo survey point dot csv this is a csv file csv means comma separated values so i will delete these things and i will close this one without saving before importing point you have to make sure this csv file is uh, closed so i will close this one without saving now i am in my civil 3d drawing again so now i am going to import the points so i go to home tab here we have points i click here go to point creation tools then i have the point import button here import points i click here then i will get a window like this from there i will go to this plus sign to import points add files actually then i have to move on to the location where my uh, topo survey point file is so if you follow the exercise files link you will get this uh, topo survey points sometimes we will get points as text files currently this is selected as csv so if you have a text file as point file you have to select this uh, text type here since we don't have any text type of point file so i am using csv then i select this one and go to open so now in the next stage we have to select the file format so i showed you earlier our file format is p n e z d and it is a comma delimited file so from this list you have to find the correct uh, point point file format so if it is here at the bottom p n e z d comma delimited so it the preview of the points will be given here it will not preview all the points but it will preview some of the points from that you can verify this is in the correct order then after that you have to add these points to a point group so i'll click here and i have to click here to give a name so i say survey points survey points and i click ok so once you click ok it will show you that you have a point group called survey points so that means if you import these points they will be imported into a point group called survey points so i'll click ok and after some time you will see the points are imported into the drawing so i'll close this toolbar i'll double click my mouse wheel it is similar to zoom extent so it will show you the imported points it will zoom to the imported points now you can see it automatically zoomed to the imported points 
so currently you can see this uh, view is pretty much congested with the labels so i'll change the style something like one is to 100 so that you can view this very easily and clearly so you can see now you have the point then you have the elevation and then you have the description so we call this thing point label and this cross type of mark we call it as point style so if you want to change the style or label style you can use this point groups here and you can expand and you can go to survey points where you created right click and go to properties then you can apply separate separate styles like description only if you apply that one it will only give you the description of the point elevation only apply it will only show the elevation of the point so if you want to change the point style you can change it from here we will apply benchmark and see what happens you will see this point style changes so i am going to use basic at the moment and click ok so this is how to import points into this drawing so i will again change the properties to point number elevation and description for easy weaving so this is how you import points into civil 3d so then we will save our drawing with a name such as points imported like that uh, so that uh, we continue our work from here onwards so from here you can go to there and go to the location and save the drawing so i have created a folder and i will save this as points imported and click save so this is how you import points and save the drawing in the next session we will see how to create point groups